Let's have a look at a story on Christina Shushu, a story that has been trending for the better part of today. Christina Shushu teases new song titled Zakayo. Three years ago, Tanzanian superstar gospel musician Christina Shushu released her Shusha Nyavu cast your net song that went on to become a major hit in Kenya. The song cemented her as a household name to the extent that Kenyans demanded she hold a concert in the country last year. Now, she's teased a new song titled Zakayo, Tax Collector. And even before its release, it appears a Kenyan audience going by the reactions online cannot wait. She made the announcement on her socials Monday morning. Reaction from Kenyans was swift and witty. Sung in Swahili and loosely translated in English, she sings, There was once a man named Zakayo, a senior tax collector and a wealthy man. He sought to know what kind of man Jesus was, but he wasn't able to because the snippet already has thousands of reactions on social media despite the drop date not being announced. But who or what is the song about? Miss Shushon has not said, but that has not stopped Kenyans from speculating. So Christina Shushon is working on a song titled Zakayo. And you know when you mention Zakayo in Kenya, then it's clear who the target may be. I want us to dig deep into this for Kenyans to understand what's going on behind the scenes. If you are watching us but you are not yet subscribed, subscribe in order not to miss our next analysis. Let's proceed. We've been told before that art, literature, music, all those genres are a reflection of the society. A good composer always wants to reflect what's happening in the society. And in this case of this song, Zakayo, Christina Shushon is clearly trying to reflect what's happening in the Kenyan society. That song is meant and targeted for the Kenyan audience. And I won't be wrong to say, Christina Shusho is indirectly targeting William Samoy Ruto. And that begs the question, why is she targeting Ruto? The first reason, Christina Shusho has a very big fan base in Kenya. And that fan base has been complaining about Zakayo, about Ruto's oppressive taxes. So Shushon is just trying to indirectly attack William Ruto. And by attacking William Ruto, she wants to sympathize and to empathize with her fan base in Kenya. So the song is meant to ridicule, to attack William Ruto in order to empathize with her local fans here in Kenya. So even Shusho understands the pain Kenyans have been going through. And not only Shusho, we still remember Tanzania's president, Madam Samia Suluhu, also attacking William Ruto. 
some months last year. So it appears that our Tanzanian counterparts, brothers and sisters, they understand the pain Kenyans are going through. Secondly, I'm seeing a Christina Shusho who is just trying to get some relevance and support. She wants to go with something that can trend, eh? something that Kenyans are eager eh, to listen to. And now even before she releases that song, already Kenyans are waiting with bated breaths. And I know upon releasing that song, she'll get millions of views on that song, simply because she has played right her cards. Hmm? She's going to where the people are. That confirms that a majority of Kenyans are dissatisfied, not happy with the Ruto's government. That's why Shusho is trying to release that song, Zakayon. If Shusho knew that a majority was supporting Ruto, I don't think she could have released that song titled Zakayo. But she knows a majority are not with William Ruto. So even if she releases that song, she will not affect or injure her fan base. Instead, her fans, a majority, will still be happy with her. And truth be said, if Shusho releases that song, I think she'll get more fans supporting her. As I conclude, it's now certain that Ruto is a lying president. And I'm saying that because yesterday, during the burial ceremony of General Ogula, Ruto said that her daughter, Shalin Ruto, sneaked to Ogola's burial. That photo has been trending for the better part of today. And we are seeing William Ruto alighting from a chopper. And just next to him, we are seeing Shalin Ruto. So these are the people who are together. Ruto was just lying to Kenyans. We are going to dig deep into that in our next analysis. But for those who missed that soundbite of Ruto, listen to that. I was surprised, amazed actually, that my own daughter was greatly influenced by General Ogola. And yesterday, my daughter called me, Charlene, she's here, and she told me I must go to the funeral of General Logola. And I want to speak. I told her, Charlene, first, there is no way you are going, and there is no way you are going to speak anywhere. So, but as fate would have it, she found her way here. <laughs> and before I could notice, she was on the microphone. <laughs> that is how General Ogola was influential. Again, let me say this. I had asked my wife that since we were yesterday in uh, at uh, in Langata, maybe today she can do something else because she too insisted that I must be at the funeral of General Ogola to stand by Eileen because they were a great people to our nation. That is the kind of influence General Logola had on people, not necessarily... Let me stop it there, ladies and gentlemen. 
If you are watching us but you have not yet subscribed, subscribe, give the video a like. Those who are watching us outside Kenya, drop a comment, let us know from which part of the globe you are watching us from. If possible, subscribe, give the video a like. Thank you. God bless you.